just as if he's seen the old shocker himself. Oh, very well. Now you'll go quietly into church. The service will help you. How can it help when all the time I'll be thinking afterwards, afterwards? Afterwards, you'll walk home with my sister and me. Another of those letters? Ah, oh, it'd be that. When did you get it? Last night, last post. Just as my missus made me believe that there was Norton all this talk about her and that. Why did you open it? Well, I... About her and that. Who? That's what I didn't know. But now, you read that. Len Griff. Sam, you shouldn't take any notice. So that meant so easy. But don't you see you're playing to the writer's hands by believing these lies? You shouldn't read them, you should burn them. Ah. Uh, and leave her to make a fool of me behind my back. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Len Griffin's a decent, honest tradesman. He's old enough to be Sucre's father. Yeah, well, that bears no hindrance. Not that I'm so minded. I'm afraid you're a very stupid fellow, Sam. Madam, ask Mr. Griffin to come here, will you? Yes, sir. You'd better hold the two-minute bell until I tell you. Very good, sir. Oh, and Madam, ask Mr. Price to play a voluntary until I'm ready. I'm going to teach you not to slander people. He's Len Griffin, sir. Here you go. We don't be keeping him. Griffin, I've asked you here to tell you that one of those horrible letters has been received, accusing you of paying attentions to Sukul Harin. Me, sir? Me and Sukul? Why, the thing's laughable, sir. You'd as soon jump in the pond as look at me. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been a bit spry in my time, sir, but not with Maradon's. So cool, horrid. I sam and kill a bloke for looking at her. Thank you, Griffin. I'm glad to hear from your own lips what I already knew to be true. Me and so cool. <laughs> That's a good one, sir. <laughs> Griffin, I want you to forget this little interview. Oh, yes. By the way, take this with you. <laughs> 